This is the walkthrough for the Network Analysis Practical. So when you open the Network Analysis file, this is what we see. We've got an Ordnance Survey map of Great Malvern and Worcester with our Defence Research Centre and where the zombies are going to break out in the middle of Malvern there. So if we switch on the ITN Network dataset, that shows all the roads around Malvern and Worcester. To make them a bit easier to see, we'll just open the properties for the Ordnance Survey layer. Just change the transparency to about 50%. Press OK, and that shows up the roads a bit more nicely there. So to perform network analysis, we need to find the network analysis toolbar. So go to Customize, and Toolbars, and then Network Analyst, and open that one. Then to open the network analyst window, we need to click the button just here. That will open just next to the table of contents. And the first thing we need to do is add a new service area. Then we need to tell the network analyst where the center of the service area is going to be. In this case, it's going to be the Defense Research Center. So right click on Facilities in the Network Analyst window. Go to Load Locations. Defense Research Center should already be populating this field at the top. And you don't really need to change anything else, so just click OK there. That'll bring a dot onto the Defence Research Centre and that shows that the service area has been created. So right click on its name in the table of contents and go to properties and then analysis settings. So we need to set the impedance rather than to drive in minutes we need to set it to length in metres and the first distance is going to be 2000 metres. So that's how far the zombies could cover in one hour. And then just press OK. And then to show that on the map, right click on service area again and click solve. And this will bring up the area on the map where the zombies could have reached within two hours. So that's anywhere that's 2000 meters along a road away from the defense research center. So then we need to repeat that and create a new service area. And again, go to load locations, defense research center, okay. And set this, the properties for this one again. So length, and this time it's going to be 4,000 meters. So this is how far they could have gone in two hours. Click OK, and then solve. That'll appear over the top. And you can see everywhere that the zombies could have reached within four hours. So I'm just going to go through really quickly performing that for all of the other distances in the handout. And then we have the five service areas, anywhere that would be reachable within eight hours walking at two kilometers per hour. So that's all very good, but it does take a little while to create all these service areas. So I'm gonna show you one quick way of performing that. First, I'm gonna switch all of these off. So create one more service area. And again, load locations, the Defense Research Center, and then exactly the same properties, change it to length in meters. But instead of doing each one individually, you just need to put each distance in separated by a comma. Then press OK. Right click again, press Solve. That'll bring each of them up all at once. So then to change the color, you can change the colors of all of them all at once rather than doing it individually as you would have had to before. Just go to properties and symbology, select any color ramp, this one works quite well. Press OK. And there you can see quite nicely laid out how far the zombies could have reached at each impedance interval. So to compare this, you could see how far that the zombies would have reached if they had no impedance if they were able to move in straight lines and you can do that using a buffer analysis so to do that go to geoprocessing and go to buffer then the input feature is the feature around which we want to create the buffer so that's going to be the defense research center again and then open the output feature class and just put something in here which is what the buffer is going to be called so it's going to be at 2000 meters. Make sure the value here for the units is meters. 
and put 2000 or you can set it to 2 kilometers. Press OK and wait for that to complete. So we'll just move that to the top. And then we have a circle around the Defence Research Centre with a 2000 meter radius showing anywhere that the zombies could have reached moving in a straight line that's 2000 meters away. So we can repeat this for each of the other distances. Now we have all of the bus buffers for 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, 12,000, 16,000 meters and you can see that moving in a straight line the zombies could have reached a lot further within the same time. So to be able to look at these all together you just need to click on the color of each one and I found the best way to do it is just click on hollow then change the outline width a little. And if you do that for all of the buffers, there you can see and compare each of the different buffer lengths with the network analysis beneath it. That brings us to the end of the practical element. So don't forget to have a go at the questions on the handout, have a go at the questions on the quiz on Blackboard, and have a go at some of the other practicals as well.